My name is Kim, uh, Kim Lau. Uh, I'm uh, currently a lecturer at uh, Nian Poly, Diploma Audiovisual Technology. This was actually suggested by a colleague of mine. Uh, HIVE Hive uh, stands for High Intensity Vibrant Environment. This space was actually conceptualized because we needed to uh, circumvent a lack of uh, space for practice and production. So it became an idea of a super multi-purpose black box style uh, AV production studio. Uh, main application would be to have students to come in and practice and they can actually collaborate among themselves for uh, AV production, be it audio, video, uh, voiceover. Uh, the Hive is actually made up of four stations, two stations uh, called Honeybee and Bumblebee. They are DAW stations inside a acoustic booth. And then we have the house system uh, called Queen Bee. And then we have Mac stations, five of them, uh, for students to book so that they can work on uh, anything else. The house actually have uh, projection systems. And then we have also video switching uh, using KVM over IP. Honeybee and Bumblebee are DAW stations uh, in the booth. And they are made up of uh, Pro Tools HD with a uh, Essex as the controller. We didn't use the conventional uh, Avid IOs. Uh, we used the uh, DAD uh, AX32 so that we can actually support the uh, audio networking uh, as well. The Queen Bee has idea of a uh, house system. It's made up of general purpose mixers that we use uh, primarily for live sound. So the Queen Bee are uh, central control stations where they will perform the routing through the PC computer and they will receive signals from um, the two stations and many other stations then push it out to the house. The IMAX are really for general purpose so that students can work on their projects right here and uh, not to hog up the uh, labs in the classrooms. Right, uh, that's integration. Now, uh, for any facility to integrate a couple of stations, you need a certain amount of cabling work uh, to be done. Uh, this is in the old days. Um, just a couple of years back, uh, when a audio and visual over network become viable because, uh, of course, when it comes to audio, it's about a uh, real-time monitoring. So networking in the classical sense will not be able to do that real-time thing until quite, uh, maybe just in the two, three years ago. And the whole audio networking a platform has uh, revolutionized. Um, in this just couple of years, has evolved in such a sense that uh, it becomes uh, not only convenient, but also very economical to be doing integration using our network. That means we'll be able to switch and connect using switches. The audio portion is integrated using Dante, a layer three uh, audio networking protocol. Um, the reason for that is that's really very, very good flexibilities and routing, but the most important thing is savings and integration. That means that we only need to pull uh, two cables, network cables into the booth and I uh, get the audio portion done. One for the main, the other one for redundancy. Two big reasons for it. Uh, one is cost, the ease of integration, and then the second is actually for maximal uh, flexibilities and routing. As mentioned, conventional design, let's say for example when you need eight channels to go in and out, you will actually need uh, eight times two, 16 cables, and you'll probably need like a two eight core to go in and out. On, on one end, you'll be having a fan out. So uh, network is just simple, it's just one cable of four, 64 channels actually. Uh, when ABT started, we used uh, some other, we actually started by using uh, Ether Sound. So the limitation of Ether Sound is, uh, it is a LAN base, layer two, and for maximal configuration, you actually have to run the whole entire system as daisy chain. So uh, primary to secondary, and then primary to secondary, you have to chain up 
the whole thing. You can choose to use switches, but it's a one way. You go down, but you don't come up once you encounter the switch. Uh, so this is a major limitation of uh, a layer two. So when Dante comes in the picture, um, things starts to go in terms of no longer a daisy chain, but it is a star network. Uh, of course, uh, Yamaha actually promotes uh, ease of use, using Daisy Chain, but the conventional Dante actually uses a star network. The educational part of, of this whole entire idea is to show them that the future is actually uh, networking, not just on the audio side, uh, because we also have uh, video networking as well. Uh, the critical thing is to understand flexibilities comes with complexities. So in order for somebody who is able to manage uh, this network, he, under he needs to understand how to route and patch. Uh, conventionally, you will have like point A to B, you're gonna use like hardware patching. So, uh, and then it get evolved to digital patching, where you're gonna be clicking. Uh, but nowadays, when we are talking about um, matrix type of patching, uh, using software uh, over network. And important thing is that you can actually, anywhere that's in the system where you have a network point, uh, I can control my patch. For example, the Hive got four stations, I can control the routing from any of the stations. Or any point that I have, just plug it in, uh, using Dante controller, you'll be able to change it. As we mentioned before, this facility actually have a couple of stations. Uh, each individual stations can work on their own or they can combine together uh, to become a production suite. For example, uh, the honeybee could be the control room, the bumblebee could be the ISO booth, and then the uh, queen bee could be the studio itself. Um, so in this manner, there is two modes of working. One is called indie, individual mode, and combi when you put everything together. Uh, in the conventional digital interconnect, Oh, we will not be able to achieve this in such a sense that a bumblebee can be running at 44, a uh, honeybee could be running at say 96, and the queen bee could be running at 48. Um, in the conventional digital interconnect, uh, this will not work because you need a single work clock to be speeding to all the rest of the uh, uh, stations. With Dante, the, it's a distributed network clock based on the IEEE 1588 PTP precision time protocol. Uh, it states that everybody could be clocked by a single uh, preferred master and then stations or Dante devices that is of the same sample rate will be able to connect and flow. Uh, this would not have been possible uh, in the yesteryears using a work clock model. So in my opinion, this is one of the uh, greatest flexibilities and especially for uh, education where we need to have you know, good flexibilities. Uh, you can say that the uh, competing standard at this current point in time will be uh, AVB, audio video bridging. Technically speaking, AVB is a IEEE standard and it has the video component uh, as well. That means besides doing uh, audio uh, routing, you should be able to do video as well. Uh, but we haven't really seen uh, too many of all this uh, implementation on the video side. Uh, on the audio side, a the big player will be uh, Avid. Uh, Avid uh, Venue Systems uses AVB. Moto as well. Uh, Moto has a whole range of uh, audio interfaces that actually uses uh, AVB together with AVB switches. In fact, ABT actually own them. ABB is a IEEE standard, and Dante is actually proprietary. But um, at this point in time, uh, there are just a lot more picked up on uh, Dante as compared to uh, ABB. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, people bought into Dante at the point in time, a, what happened is we understood that once ABB standard has been ratified fully. Uh, Dante is supposed to be providing a firmware update so that you can actually see it as an endpoint in the AVB network, because after all, AVB is a IEEE uh, standard. AES67 is a convergence uh, standard, so that uh, many of all this uh, AO over IP, audio over IP protocol can actually converge so that they can actually work together. Dante AVB, it's common for 
fixed installation and for venues for live. But in a broadcast world, there is live wire, there's Ravina. So AES67 aims to converge all these protocols so that they can literally meaning talk to one another. Uh, we have talked a lot about uh, network uh, for audio. Uh, the reality is this facility uh, aims to demonstrate uh, not just audio but video using KVM over IP, um, data, control, and eventually we'll extend it to uh, lighting. So uh, networking is really the future and as an educational institution, we really want to do that to demonstrate the power of networking.